This video is for those who may have been raised by narcissistic parents to open up and share your experiences. Let's all come together. From the outside looking in, your parents might look perfectly normal. To the casual onlooker, they appear to be kind and caring. But behind closed doors, you know your parents as cold, distant, and how draining their incessant demand for perfection is. If this sounds like your childhood, you may have been raised by a narcissist. Narcissistic Personality Disorder, or NPD for short, is a disorder in which one has an inflated sense of self-importance. Symptoms of NPD include an excessive need for admiration, disregard for others' feelings, an inability to handle any criticism, and a sense of entitlement. With that said, here are 10 signs that you were raised by a narcissistic parent. Number one, you've always struggled with low self-esteem. Do you feel completely worthless sometimes? Narcissistic parents can have their children believing that your authentic self is somehow flawed and they can use shame to try to control you, manipulating you into meeting their needs. You may have been raised by a narcissist if your parents belittled you when you didn't conform to their ideals. If you are feeling inadequate or are struggling to believe in yourself and find self-confidence, then this could be because of how your parents treated you. Number two, they had an intense reaction to any form of criticism. Did you ever happen to criticize your mom or your dad and were met with an intense emotional reaction by them? Would they shout and raise their voices at you? A sharp overreaction to any kind of criticism is a sign of narcissism. For example, if you were in an argument, your narcissistic mother or father would hysterically scream at you, how dare you talk to your mother that way? Go to your room. We'll talk again after you stop screaming at me. While shouting at you, they might have physically hurt you with a sharp smack or some other form of physical punishment. Number three, your parents had a favorite child. Did you ever feel like you were the outsider in your family? Were you the possible black sheep of the family? If you had one singled out sibling that was seen as the perfect child who could do no wrong by your parents, chances are your parents were narcissistic. If you were deemed the black sheep, you were the one accused of causing most of the issues and problems within your family, even if you weren't ever truly at fault. It is possible that these roles could have also switched frequently between you and your siblings. Number four, you're a complete doormat. Do you feel like you let people constantly walk all over you? A narcissistic parent will trample all over their family to address their own desires without giving much thought to what anyone else needs. Because of this, you might be someone who overcorrects and bends over backwards to make sure no one could ever possibly perceive you this way. You may have grown up being told that your needs don't matter. You let people walk all over you because you're not in touch with what you need and you don't know how to express it. Because either way, you were pushed to the side by your narcissistic parent. Number five, you're dealing with chronic shame. Narcissistic parents will often project shame onto their children and use shame as an emotionally abusive parenting strategy. You might not be able to recognize this feeling of chronic shame until you're in adulthood. The shame you experienced was ingrained into you through your emotionally abusive parents. You may continue to shame yourself unconsciously when you fail to live up to the impossible standards previously set by your parents. Number six, you struggle to set proper boundaries with people or think that boundaries are flexible. When you were raised by a narcissist, you might struggle to establish good boundaries with other people and in your personal life. Do you think this has been a problem for you? Enmeshment is a psychological term that describes a blurring of boundaries between you and your family members. Enmeshment can contribute to the dysfunction in your family and may lead to a lack of autonomy and independence that is problematic. As a child, you weren't allowed to develop your own boundaries or have a healthy sense of yourself as a separate individual. You may not have had any private space to call your own while growing up. Your narcissistic mother or father would go through your room and private belongings without telling you and find something to use against you to try to get you in trouble. Number seven, you engage in self-destructive behavior. Do you drink excessively or have a habit of overeating? Do you have certain addictions that you just can't seem to shake? When you were raised by a narcissist, you may have reached for things to help you cope with the emotional trauma that your parents put you through. This can involve drinking, smoking, gambling, overeating, or having a drug or sex addiction. These habits are all problematic and self-destructive when performed in excess. As an adult, you may have sabotaged your career or romantic and familial relationships. You may be struggling with a deep-rooted belief or feeling that you don't deserve success or happiness. Number eight, your parents tried to control you through an unhealthy level of codependency. 
Did your parents ever say something like, don't leave me, or what would I do without you? Narcissistic parents may have made it almost impossible for you to live a life of autonomy. They routinely threw up barriers when you tried to establish independent priorities or relationships that didn't involve them. If you attempted to do anything that wasn't helping to cater to the needs of your parents, they would throw out toxic codependent phrases like, I need you, or I can't live without you. If this sounds familiar to you and your familial situation, you might have been raised by a narcissist. Number nine, you were gaslit by your parents. Have your parents ever made you question your own sanity? Did they tell you that you said or did things that you can't remember doing or saying? In order to exercise more control over you, they may have employed a psychological manipulation tactic known as gaslighting. They would deliberately make you feel crazy or cause you to doubt your sanity in order to gain the upper hand over you. You may now be struggling with a constant sense of self-doubt in your present life because of this type of manipulation from a narcissistic parent. And number 10, you're experiencing depression and anxiety. Are you having different issues with anxiety and depression or difficulties in your personal and romantic relationships? This may be a result of narcissistic parenting styles. Due to a lack of agency and feelings of helplessness, you might get depressed, feeling like there's nothing you can do to improve your life. When things go wrong in life, you may be left paralyzed, thinking that you're unable to make an impact. Narcissistic parents don't model good ways of managing negative emotions like anxiety. They spend little time helping their children learn to self-soothe. You may also be expressing anxiety due to your reach for perfectionism with overwhelming fear centered around criticism. Performance anxiety can dominate your social interactions, putting a stint in your relationships with people.